Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video we are going back to take a look at those two puncture cows. The one that stepped on a piece of metal or what appeared to be and the one that stepped on that rusty nail. First up is the piece of metal puncture. This is what it looked like when we first saw it. And this is what it's going to look like now. Here I'm going to just trim away some of that loose horn that I left on that first trim. The reason I left it at the time was because there was still some corium attached and I didn't want to cause any uh, unnecessary bleeding in that area. You can see here all of this is all new hoof. This was all open corium here. That's all hardened up. There's one little spot right here. That was the original puncture. And that's uh, basically it. This was, we're looking at about 17 days. 17, yeah. Today is 17 days from when I worked on this foot. So you can see all brand new corium here. I left this. See, there's a little bit of loose stuff that I left here. You can see it didn't affect the healing at all. And what it did was had this block come off, this would have provided protection to that puncture site. But I'm gonna leave that block on here yet because of this small little spot right here. But overall, that healed up pretty nice. You can see this is all filling in brand new here. And you can see there's no tenderness to that. It's all nice, good hoof again. And here's a good side-by-side -side comparison with 17 days of healing. Next up is number 618, our rusty nail cow. Here's that piece of rusty nail that we pulled out of there and what she looked like 17 days ago. And here we are present day again with 17 days of healing. And you can see basically the same thing with this one, completely filled in. All brand new hoof here. Just that small spot right there from the, the initial puncture. But other than that, all of this hoof around it completely filled in. This is a good, same as the last one, good hard horn coming in. It's perfect. This will completely heal up over time. This will come and come over right over the top of that underneath there. So not bad for a little over two weeks. Both of these feet illustrate perfectly why we need to be careful when we're paring away and we're cutting away near corium. If you notice on both of these feet, the only place that didn't heal up with new healthy horn is where those punctures were. So whether it be our knives or a nail or anything else, damaging corium delays healing. Here we've got another side-by-side -side comparison from the initial trim till today. If you want to go back and see the original puncture videos, I'll put a link to both of those in the description below. As always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Don't you go. Go on.